Welcome to our first look at Descent Vector, Endless Runner. I've mentioned this game a couple nights ago on stream. Uh, it's been developed by uh, David and Tanya, friends of Allison. Allison went to school with Tanya. Now they're local to us here where I live and it's kind of cool. So we'll go through a little bit on the game. Um, it can be used via controller, which I'm just using my PS4 controller. WASD works, arrow keys work. So yeah, it's fully and Xbox controller works as well. So you can play it however you want to play it. Uh, the different pods, this is the one you start with. I've obviously been playing a bit. Um, camouflage one, that one would be really good for Hamilton. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I actually think I like the Yuri in red. Uh, leaderboards, so you can see yourself as players, global, friends, which I don't have any friends, so... And then, if we go into options. Now, I've got the music off for this recording because the music is a continuous play. Uh, the music you're hearing right now is from the game. Uh, but as I'm editing, I didn't want to chop up the music, so I recorded uh, about half an hour of music. Not sure I'm going to need as that much, but uh, so that you get the experience of the music. The music is great. It reminds me, takes me back to uh, the 80s, uh, which you may or may not like, but I think it's it's incredible. They've done a really good job on it. Uh, quality. Resolution. So if we change the resolution, you'll see that the quality on the pod and everything else is getting worse. Um, obviously, we're going to want to play this to get full effect. As clean and sharp as it is, because the graphics are really well done on this. Um, regardless of the game, it looks amazing. So, the rest of it's easy enough to see. Um, yeah, so we can jump in now if we play. There's play a mission and there's endless. Play a mission, you've got a set amount that you're going for. I think it's about 1.5 kilometers or so. Endless mode, you just keep going through it and over and over to see how long you can make it. So let's jump in, let's play a mission. Uh, this is where the editing will come in because I'm sure you don't want to see me dying for five minutes while I try and get through <laughs> one of these. So I'll edit some of this out and uh, we can go. So let's jump into a mission. I'm using the PS4 controller Three, uh, to play. Two, and it jumps right in. Here we go. So the res control is responsive. It works really well. You can fly. background is great. I watched somebody else's review on it and I agree with him. That would be a cool wallpaper to have for your... Uh, oh, you can have some near misses. You can overcorrect. Correct. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so you jump right into it. And they throw those sneaky little dark ones in on you. So we, if you look on the left, we're 152 meters away. We're doing 21 meters per second speed. And there we go. Oh, I was close. 1,547 meters. 
And let's go on to the next Three, one. Two, one. So again, different four. look, but we jump straight into it again. So again, the control is really easy. It responds immediately to what you are doing. There's no kind of delay at all. It's and again, whoa! <laughs> the graphics, yay! The graphics are great. Um, Oh, and the first death. <laughs> and the graphics on that are amazing. So, Three, let's do it two, again. One, Lord. Now, I'm not sure. I'm, I, I believe it must be this as, as we get to other higher levels. Because um, what I'm... Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Uh, these openings all seem to have four wide, four by four openings on them. Another bit of a brush there. And that's considerably easier to get through when, then when they're only one wide. So you, you've got a bit of a, you can kind of rub things a bit. If you're a NASCAR fan, you'd understand that. You can get away with a bit of a rub. There's time for... Now, I think when you hit these middle parts, like I did... Whoa! It's a little more set that you're gonna... You ain't gonna make it. Whoa! And there we are. We'll test it out. When you hit the fin, I think you Three, have a two, little bit more options. One, so if we hit that, whoa! See, there's a new one by four Three, opening instead of two, four by four, one, two by two. Lord. Now, I'm not the smoothest operator on this. I'm a little erratic. Whoa! <laughs> I'm sure there are people much better at <laughs> this than I am. But this is just, it's a lot of fun. And as a, the, the graphics are great, that planetary. Whoa! Broken up over there. I mean, that's just cool looking. Three, two, one, Lord. So I don't know if there's much of a difference in the pods or if it's just purely cosmetic. Okay, Three, let's see if I can get through two. this. One, Lord. Uh, you can tell on this one that it's it's harder. The openings are different. They're not as big. There's more single line openings. Even when I overcorrect, the controls are good enough that as soon as I correct back, 
the pod comes back in line. Oh, don't do it, don't do it. Come on, you're so close. You're so close. Yeah, yay. Okay. I don't know if I've completed that one before. Three, two, oh, I kind of like the color of this one. Launch. It's funky. Oh, I kind of psyched myself out on those openings. Okay, let's see how many it takes to get through this one. Gotta do it this time. So they definitely do get harder. Uh, oh. I don't like those openings. hadn't done that one yet so um, the other way we can play is we can play endless mission or sorry endless mode so if we do the endless mode and we'll just jump in and we'll take a look at this three two one Lord it just keeps going and I guess this is where and this runner comes from. on the bottom left you can see we've gone about 1.3 kilometers 1300 meters now it's a little further than that and as you come up now I've done a fairly long run so I don't know if I'll be able to get there but as you come up to your longest mark you will see A symbol pop up. I should be coming up reasonably close to it. 
don't think I've gone much further than this before. Oh, there it is. That's how I've now gone further than I did previously. So that's kind of a cool feature. Now, I did see in the comments at one point that somebody thought it would be neat as rather than just your marker, have the people ahead of you in the leaderboard and show their markers so you know if you've actually passed somebody on the leaderboard. That would be kind of cool. Holy doodle, where did I start going so darn fast? That's not fair. <laughs> So, there we go. That's the basis of the game. Let's try another Endless Runner. And I'll show you that, you know, it's not quite as reasonably easy as I just seemed to make, or at least I thought that one seemed. So you can see our velocity is 21, 22, so the Endless Runner whoa, just seems to keep getting faster and faster. So let's go back out, and I want to try... Let's try the camouflage one. And let's play... This is the one we did, we couldn't complete. Three, two, one, Lord. Oh, this one's not all that easy to be against this background. Whoa! <laughs> now, I want to just back out again, because I just saw something that I missed last time. On these cards. So, this one, in Kepler 10b, a volcanic lava planet close to its host star. Lise 436B, a frozen world with rings of ice asteroids. Tau Ceti F, a habitable super Earth sized planet. 51 Pegasi B, a gas giant with an Earth like ringed moon. So if we go over here and we take a look, there is the Earth like ringed moon. That's Two, That's one, cool. Little features I didn't notice before. So we'll try this one more time. Or maybe another time. <laughs> Three, two, one, Lord. One last time, two, and then we'll go back to one, a different pod. Because it's the pod that's making the difference. Couple close shades. A little bit of a rub. The background is so cool, but I just uh, I can only look at it so much because I'll crash if I keep looking at it. Ah. I guess the furthest I've gone on that one. Oops. Let's go pods. Let's try that one. Let's play. And let's do kind of like this one. Let's do endless mode here. How set the app. Three, two, one, Lord.
Or not. Three, one more try. Two, one, Lord. So that's the furthest I've gone on this one. Yeah, that broken up moon looks very cool. Well done, David. I equate this to a little bit like Fortnite. The boys I used to coach in soccer loved Fortnite and it was always, they were addicted to it. They'd keep playing, 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 playing. And it's kind of like this, because like, oh, oh, I know I can do better. I know I can do better. The game is, it just keeps you wanting to play. So in the description of the video will be a full description of the game from Steam, the Steam link. Uh, I do believe it's on sale right now. It just launched uh, earlier this week. Three, two, one, launch. And the voice is just got to be a British voice, doesn't it? Because it just sounds so much nicer. One last time. Two, one, <laughs> the reels this time. So yeah, check the game out on Steam, please. It's it's a lot of fun. It's a simple little game, but it does it very, very well. Okay, there I'm flaming. Now you don't seem to lose any maneuverability, which is great. The graphics on the flame is great and I mean the crashes are just incredible. Three, two, one, Lord. So check the game out on Steam, please. And uh yeah. help out a developer I know. I mean it's fun. It doesn't take a great computer to run it as we all know my computer is not great and yeah I think it'll be an, a good addition to your library and uh, yeah you can see if you're doing better than I am direct comparison Okay, so there is the scent vector. Um, go back into the leaderboards. We'll see, hey, I jumped up the leaderboard. I'm now ranked fourth. Um, and then it gives you your stats in each location. So the Kepler, I have 64 crashes. And Glisse seems to be my best one, only six crashes. Tau Seti, 55. 51 Pegasi B, 31 crashes. But yeah, it's a, it's a great game. But so David, thank you very much for uh, the Steam key on this. Uh, greatly appreciate it. Uh, I will be playing this more and uh, uh, bring out maybe a couple more videos when I get a, uh, some longer runs together and uh, string them into a single video. So. Everybody else, thank you very much for joining me on this first look at Descent Vector. And uh, we'll see you again for one of my live streams, either on Night of the Dead or Seven Days to Die.
and look for any new games possibly coming up. So depending where you are in the world and what time of day you're watching this, have yourself a good morning, good afternoon, a good evening, or a good night, and I will see you on the next one. Cheers!